Well, this week after the Glen Rose Rodeo, I kind of got to feeling bad, was sick a little bit, ended up with a grade one pneumonia, and it's put me way behind on loading videos. You know, I had Jade Corkle come over and rope a little bit on Monday. I wasn't quite feeling the best and probably shouldn't have roped, but it was the last day that the wind wasn't blowing. He had a horse for sale he was going to put on there. You can go watch the video. Travis Graves come over and roped a little bit last week. You know, having those guys come over and rope is always exciting and fun. It's fun to go in and watch the different guys rope in the different styles. Had Chris Cox over this last week. I let him rope some on Frisco and Murphy, and he brought his young horse over. I still have not loaded mine in Jade's practice. You know, he roped a little bit on LC and Randy and then rode all of his horses. But guys, I got to feeling really bad, really weak. And when I was done Monday roping, pretty much stayed in bed all day Tuesday, did not do anything. Have not felt very good since Friday. Kind of fought through it a little bit. But Travis Graves, when he was over, he roped a little bit on Randy and LC both. I still have not put them in slow motion and talked about them. But I have a lot of new things coming as soon as I get to feeling better. Filmed a little bit when Jade was over on Frisco with the GoPro camera. You know, just trying to do different things. Well, when Chris come over to the house, I think he was wanting a first-hand experience on how I do my schools. You know, me and him and Rich are going to have a roping school, three guys teaching different little things. We're going to use the video camera and talk about a lot of stuff. We're going to have a number 11 roping and an open roping in between the two schools. For more information, you can contact Chris Cox. Phone number's on there. But, you know, we set up scenarios. Chris come over and roped a little bit. Just went and called on Murphy. Went and tried to go fast on Frisco. And then roped a little bit on his young horse. But it's all about using the video, showing guys what they're doing when they come over to the house. But I had a lot of fun with Chris over. Healed a little bit. But I'm very happy to say my online store is up and running. I only have a couple products on there right now. I've got the heel ropes, head ropes that I actually use, my kids' DVDs, and video credits. And what I mean by video credits, I've had a lot of people ask if they get in there and watch just one video, kind of see what it's like. Now you can buy credits to watch one video, five videos, or 25 videos. So if you see a video that you want to see or you want to buy 25 videos to kind of get a feel for what's going on, 25 videos will cost you $35. If you just want to watch five videos, it's $15. And if there's just one video you want to watch, it's $5. Now the next thing is the heel ropes that I had designed for me to heal with and my wife to heal with. Now the difference in the Mach 3 and the Mach 3 Plus head rope is the Mach 3 Plus is a little longer, pulled down a little tighter. It's what I use the majority of the time, the Mach 3 Plus. Now on the heel ropes, the Mach 3 Plus heel rope, it's lighter, it's smaller, it's pulled down tighter. The same principle that I do talking about head ropes, but I am very, very happy with how these ropes feel. These ropes are very tough. They allow my wife to get a lot of speed on her rope and to be able to swing it. But for all you guys out there that cannot swing those big heavy heel ropes and you want something that will stay open when you put your money up, you most definitely need to give the Mach 3 Plus heel rope a try. I really, really like these ropes. But these are actually the ropes I use. They come right off my rack whenever you order them through the website. But these ropes are a little different than most heel ropes due to the fact that I broke my shoulder in 96. I cannot use a big heavy heel rope. So a lot of times I heal with a head rope. Now these ropes are tough enough to last. I use the whole same rope at the World Series number 15 all night long. So I'm very excited about having the ropes that I actually use on the website. And the deal is, if you spend $50 on the website, you get a video credit, one credit. So for every $50 you spend on the web, you get to watch one locked video. The next thing I have is my kids' video. You know, my kids have started roping a little bit. Been awful exciting to have them involved with what I do. 
but I have a DVD for all you parents out there for some of the things that I feel is important about kids, keeping them safe, dummy drills, and it's actually good for all beginners and intermediate ropers. There's a lot of little details on there in practice session of me and Rich practicing, getting ready for the national finals in 2004. But these videos are in depth and kind of what I think about how to get kids involved, gambling with them and different little things. But practicing at the house, been changing it up a little bit on Sheriff. I'll have to get updated on things going on around the house. Alicia's been running a few on Murphy. I'll be taking him down there to the George Strait in case I end up having to go fast. But Dion's the first string down there. Dillinger's second. But if I need to go fast, I feel pretty confident I can go fast on Murphy. You know, it was fun having the guys over practicing this last week. I sure hate that I got that sick. I will be getting my video of my tack room and my office. I have a lots of videos to voice over and catch up from being sick. But this week has been about getting well, not so much about practicing. But Dion has done really good when I rode him away from home, so I feel pretty good about that. You know, when Jade was over, I just run a few on him, kind of made him cruise and do things pretty easy. But I do feel like I have a chance to win something down there at the George Strait, but I need to get healthy. Yes, my practice has changed a lot. It went from working my horses to now I've got a rest. Yesterday, I tried to come in here and voice over some videos and literally could not think. My arms are weak. Today, I feel a little bit better, but I will try to get caught up on the videos when we get back from the George Strait. And I will take my wireless PC card down to the George Strait and upload videos as it's going. But the priority right now is to get to feeling better. Well, I had a lot of questions last year because you had to be at the World Series or you had to be at the U.S. Finals to win. This year, if you wear a patch, you will be eligible to win the Hot Hills machine that I give away at the U.S. Finals this year or the Preferred Double Gate, the same chute that I use at my house with the head gate in it. I'm going to give one of them away at the World Series Finals in Las Vegas. The requirements are you either be at the World Series wearing a patch or at the U.S. Finals wearing a patch. If you're not going to either one of those events but want to be in the drawing, you can come on the website and upload a picture of you wearing a patch and say that you wear a patch while competing at your ropings. And you will be put in the hat to draw on to have a chance to win. We have a lot more prizes to give away. As my store gets bigger, I will start giving away different things. I have quite a few companies that I have talked to about having different products on here for sale. We have a lot more details coming soon, but right now I just want to get all the bugs, anything that's going on, and get my ropes, the video credits going. But guys, I work pretty hard at the website. Worked very hard at keeping videos fresh and new things. I apologize for this last week of not getting the Travis Graves, Jade Coracle, and Chris Cox's videos voiced over and talked about a little bit. But I've been a little down in the saddle lately. Kind of weak. My priority right now is to get healthy and compete at the George Strait Roping. And then I got one rodeo left is Austin, Texas. I'm there the uh, two weeks after we go to the George Strait. And then in April, I have quite a few schools away from home, but we will get caught up on all the videos. But for all you guys, thanks for coming on and checking out what's new.